welcome to a very exciting chili gym where we have the Coco Loco Challenge from Fuego Box, uh, consisting of a tiny chocolate bar infused with, as I understand it, uh, the Black Carolina Reaper and Ghost Pepper also, as if <laughs> the Black Reaper wasn't enough. Black Reaper, from what I understand, is like a new and innovative way to kill people, uh, developed by Mr. Ed Curry, uh, Pucker Butt, as uh, we all know so well. And they're also using this. Five bucks from every box goes to raise money for prostate cancer. And that's cool. I've got a prostate cancer survivor in my family, and he's awesome. And uh, you should try to save people from cancer. So go ahead and buy this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. You know, sight unseen, you should buy it because I love stuff like this. Like the sense of occasion you get from opening a, a really well put together uh, chili challenge. Um, yeah, so take a look inside. You must be loco to consume this cocoa. Oh, that's got the little, that's a cool, that's a cool logo too. All right, so we're gonna put them there. And uh, last chance to turn back, it says. <laughs> that was before the camera started running, actually. Um, yeah, so rules of the challenge. Oh, I like a simple challenge. Eat it, film it, share it. Fine, I will. Look at the rest of the ingredients. Um, sugar, chocolate, cocoa butter, um, milk fat, soy lecithin, and emulsifier, black reaper pepper, ghost pepper, and salt. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a chocolate bar. And uh, I'm so relieved because the Moab, like it tasted great, but I'll tell you what, eating a half pan of chocolate is not a good time anyway, um, in any, at any point during the process. And eating a, a, a half a pound of Carolina Reaper infused chocolate is definitely not any fun, um, especially not, you know, for the next 24 hours or so. But this, you know, this is a tiny little, well, it, it's not tiny, but it's, you know, smaller than a playing card, uh, which makes me think, you know, if that's the whole challenge, they probably just go ahead and jam packs it full of what amounts to, um, uh, if, if, I don't know if you've seen a picture of the Black Reaper, it looks like a cross between a chocolate pod and a mustard pod, and mustard pods are kind of like the, the trendy way to kill people right now, I think, and, uh, <laughs> it does smell like peppers. Uh, you get a nice, a nice rich chocolate smell too, uh, and uh, just an unassuming little wafer. Look at that. Um, and then on the bottom, little specks. What I believe, I believe to be uh, salt. I think that's the salt. But yeah, um, brought a little napkin because I figure I'm going to have some form of mucus expelled from my body in the next couple of minutes. But yeah, so yeah, we got this. Um, <laughs> 0.4 ounce candy bar, 11 grams uh, right here of chocolate uh, infused with Ed Curry's newest creation and also the, the great standby of the ghost pepper, which, you know, we don't give it enough credit. Ghost pepper is literally used as an elephant repellent. Um, so I should tell you about how hot it is. Elephant repellent. And then also the Black Reaper, which is significantly hotter, I think, you know, probably even than a Carolina Reaper. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Sometimes I feel so stupid sitting right here. This is one of those times. Coco Loco, um, yeah, world's, maybe world's hottest candy bar, but probably the world's hottest uh, extract-free candy bar, which is how we roll. Cheers, YouTube. Um, into the chili fray, once again. Mmm. Chocolate fingers, it scares me to have chocolate fingers. It's a good flavor. It's sweet. It's a dark chocolate. Hmm. A challenge, you know, accomplished. <laughs> but not. Delicious taste. That's really good. But it does have a very frighteningly pronounced um, chili pepper flavor, specifically Carolina Reaper. And um, definitely a slow starter. Uh, but that said, your body knows before your brain does. And so your body kind of reacts differently to really hot stuff. I find, um, or if I've eaten something really hot but it hasn't hit me yet, 
I'll already get a little tiny bit shaky, tiny bit flushed. I'll start to feel like a little bit of a, not an endorphin rush, but just like a, a stomach drop almost. Because your body's telling you that like, hey, you don't seem scared, but you really should be, you idiot. Mm. But, mm. yeah, the burn's coming now. It, it, it's, reapers take a minute, but uh, Chili Klaus said, uh, you know, when a reaper hits you, it really hits you. Um, for me, the burn is centralized up front, mostly, around the roof of my mouth, around my tongue. Um, oh, I'm getting sweaty. Uh, it's building. I can, I can, I can have a UPS tracking number for the piece of chocolate as it goes down here because I can feel it the whole way down my esophagus. Um, it's in my ears a little bit. Ooh. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty warm. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you what, this tastes really good. Like I, I like the taste of the Moab too. I just can't eat that much chocolate. I'm sorry, I can't. Like I'm 35. No job and stuff. I can't sit and eat a half pound of chocolate, but 0.4 of an ounce of chocolate, I can do that. Oh. Definitely a hot burn. Stinging. Reminds me of the Reaper more than the ghost pepper, the way it feels. Um, yeah. That's uh, whew. that's pretty hot. Um take that cancer. You suck. I've I've now fought five dollars worth of cancer. I'm happy with that. Um, I saw all these other cool YouTubers. All of them, man. Bill Moore got the t-shirt. and uh, The Heat 101 people got the t-shirt. Crazy Kimberlin got the t-shirt. Uh, the Sam Squanch got the t-shirt. I mean, I had to go buy mine like a regular person because I'm just a regular dude trying to sit here eating my peppers. And it was worth the money. I think you should buy it. I think you should buy it. Oh, and the snot's coming down. I'm not going to wipe my nose with the, the, the chocolate pepper cloth, but this one, maybe. Mm. <coughs> Ooh, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I mean, it's, it's hot. It's very hot. Like, if you're not a chili head, that's going to be a really unsettling experience for you, especially up front, because it has a, a really uh, menacing bite right out of the gate. But, all in all, I mean, you know. It's doable. If you're a chili, you'll be fine. It's just a nice snack, really. Um, it does have, like, an obviously a beyond a snack kind of burn. But, um, yeah. Uh, I have to recommend it. It's expensive if you just want to eat chocolate, you know. Um, but, you know, five bucks goes to cancer. It's for a good cause. And that's the best reason to buy this is that, you know, just help some people that got cancer. Cancer sucks. You want to help them get rid of the cancer. Five bucks of it. Boom. Oh. Five bucks of cancer, gone. Um, my family's chock full of cancer survivors and cancer casualties, and it's, you know, the modern term for dying of old age, like we're all gonna get it. And so if we can figure out how to solve it, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, and we'll all get to live a lot longer and more comfortably as a species. So for that reason, go buy it. And also, cause man, this is pretty good chocolate. It's got an interesting pepper taste. It's got a really nice burn, like a really nice burn. Um, and, you know, it's fun. It's fun to get lit up in that. Uh, yeah, man, I'll tell you what, this has me feeling so good, so very good, I have an idea, hold on, I'm not one for hyperbole, but as they say, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing twice. It's worth it for that flavor. Oh, it's really good. That, that flavor all over again is so delicious. And, oh, it piles on the second time, though. That was dumb. <laughs> immediate, 
immediate stingy hit to the roof of my mouth. Uh, uh, are you recording? Yeah, you are. That's a good laptop. Um, yeah. Second one actually really drives home the pepper taste even more. Um, it gives you like this this extra hit of of reaperness. And the burn has become a bit of a dog pile, um, and I'm at the bottom of it. Uh, but the heat is piling on now in mountains of it. Um, I almost feel like maybe I got a mild one. I mean, obviously, you know, pep stuff with natural peppers is always going to vary. You know, piece to piece, or sauce to sauce, bottle to bottle, whatever. But, um, yeah, this one's actually getting the back of my throat more, in my ears, a lot more than the other one. It's almost like two different chocolates. Mmm. But all the while, I have this like insanely good flavor, this chocolatey whew. ghost pepper, I think, and chocolate go really well together. Ah. <sighs> yeah, this is really hot now. <laughs> Stupid. But I do it for you. Ah, and me. Now, I'm sure there's somebody like I went to high school with that don't like me that enjoyed watching these too. You out there, I'll do that for you too. Yeah, yeah, this burn is now kind of where I expect it to be the first time. It's quite a lot of pain. Hot, cold, back of the throat, tears running. <laughs> uh, hot tears, actually. Whoa! My gums. It's weird, like all the places that got hit the first time are now being left alone. And all the places that didn't get hit the first time are dying. Ears are ringing. It's like an all consuming bird. If you're gonna have two chocolate challenges in one, then you deserve two cheap beers in one, don't you? The, the, the healing powers, the soothing of the soul that comes with beer foam is, is, is an existential moment. It just feels like a cool embrace from an ice goddess that is trying to, to soothe the brow of your tongue. Did your tongue have a brow? I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll be honest, we don't do challenges too much around here, but this was good fun. This is very hot, though. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, click subscribe, you know, if you like this kind of thing. We do hot sauce reviews, too. Pepper season comes, we'll be eating peppers. Working on a couple of pretty exciting things coming up soon, also, that are surprises. I'll wait. But yeah, click subscribe. We got the Death Nut, too, that's coming up soon. Got a bottle of the end. And even any and blah, blah, many more things besides. So yeah, click subscribe, you know, click like if you enjoyed the video. Ring the little bell, you'll be notified, you know, when whatever this is goes on. And I'll catch you next time. Until the chat.